Tata definitely has the edge over here because of their Nexon EV. So I'm going to leave that out for this technical comparison. In this video, we are going to be discussing the Hyundai Venue and the Tata Nexon with their petrol and diesel engines. And hopefully this will make your buying decision that much easier. Stick around to the end of this video because I'll be telling you all which one of these two cars I'd put my money on. Let's start things off with the looks. In their latest form, well, of course, both of them get a connected tail bar. But I think the similarities end there. The Nexon is a sharper and more sculpted product with sharp features. The Venue, on the other hand, is a more conventional looking vehicle, kind of boxy, but not too boxy. I really like how the rear end of the Venue has been designed, very classy and sleek. The front end, though, is all too common these days. Even the Fronks and the Grand Vitara look like this and maybe, just maybe, the Renault Quid and the Kyger too. That way, the Nexon is quite unique. There's nothing else that looks like it in the market and it is a head turner because of its bold styling cues. Moving on to the colors, the Nexon's paint schemes are a bit more complex. They are variant specific. With the creative variant, you get four dual tone options. Ocean Blue, which is also available in single tone option, Daytona Grey, Flame Red and Calgary White, all of which come with a white roof. The Pure Variant gets four monotone color options, which are Pure Grey, Calgary White, Flame Red and Daytona Grey. The Smart Variant gets three colors, which are Calgary White, Flame Red and Daytona Grey. The Venue's color schemes are more forgiving and simple. The monotone options are Fiery Red, Typhoon Silver, Titan Grey, Denim Blue, Atlas White and Abyss Black. Strangely, the dark version also gets four color options. Fiery Red, Titan Grey, Atlas White and Abyss Black. The only dual tone color option is the Fiery Red color with an Abyss Black roof and this is available in the regular and black edition versions. The Nexon's black edition, however, is just an all-out black Nexon both inside and out. Now both these cars do very well in the features department but do remember this is not an exhaustive list of features and some of these features are variant specific. Both these cars get a digital instrument cluster but the Nexon gets a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster with maps display. Both cars get wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, tire pressure monitoring system, voice activated sunroof, connected vehicle technology, ambient lighting, paddle shifters if it's an automatic or a DCT, and power driver seats. Before talking about engines, let's talk about ground clearance, safety, and boot space. When it comes to boot space, the Nexon gets 384 liters and the Venue gets 350 liters. With the ground clearance, the Nexon gets 208 mm and the Venue gets 195 mm. The safety features of the venue are ESC, vehicle stability management, hill assist control, six airbags as standard, and a four star end cap rating. With the Nexon, you also get six airbags as standard, ESP, electronic traction control, emergency brake assist, rollover mitigation, and hill hold control. And it also gets five stars of end cap rating. So the Nexon wins this on all three counts. Let's do the all-important engine comparison now and I'm going to break this down into three parts. Naturally aspirated petrols, turbo petrols and diesels. Also, I'm only going to be talking about the base variants of each given engine and gearbox combination. A naturally aspirated petrol is only available with the Venue and this engine is a 1.2 litre four-cylinder petrol producing 82 horsepower and 140 Newton meters of torque. ARI efficiency number is 17.5 km per litre and the manual gearbox variant with the engine costs 9.67 lakhs. Moving on to the turbo petrols, the Venue gets a 1 litre 3 cylinder turbo petrol producing 118 horsepower and 172 Newton meters of torque. The ARI efficiency number is 17.8 km per litre for the 6 speed manual and this variant costs 12.06 lakhs. The ARAI efficiency number for the 7-speed DCT variant of the Venue 
is 18.3 kilometers per liter and this variant will cost you 14.36 lakhs on road Bangalore. The next on Sturbo Petrol is a 1.2 liter 3 cylinder engine producing a 118 horsepower and a 170 newton meters of torque. The ARA efficiency number is 17.44 kilometers for the 5 speed manual and this variant costs just 9.36 lakhs. If you want an AMT, you get it with an ARAI mileage of 17.18 km per litre and this variant will cost you 11.66 lakhs. And if you want a DCT, you get it with an ARAI mileage of 17.01 km per litre and this variant will cost you 15.46 lakhs. Let's now get to the diesels. The venue gets a 1.5 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel producing 116 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. ARAI efficiency is 23.4 km per liter for the 6-speed manual and this variant will cost you 13.46 lakhs on road Bangalore. Unfortunately, the venue doesn't come with an automatic diesel variant. The Nexon's diesel is also a 1.5 liter 4-cylinder turbo diesel producing 113 horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque. Efficiency number is 23.23 kilometers for the 5-speed manual and this variant costs 12.02 lakhs. The cheapest AMT diesel is the pure 1.5 diesel which gets a 6-speed AMT and the ARAI efficiency is 24.08 kilometers per liter and this variant is priced at 14.61 lakhs. So if you are an automobile purist, that is you only care about how the car performs and drives, here are your best bets. If you want a turbo manual, the Nexon is the more affordable product. If you want the more affordable diesel, again Nexon is the cheaper car to buy, but that only comes with a 5-speed manual gearbox instead of 6 that you will find on a venue. If you want a turbo DCT, I think you should trust Hyundai more than Tata, and if you want an automatic diesel, the Nexon Diesel AMT is your only option. As for me, I play things safe. So I'm gonna put my money on the Hyundai Venue manual with a turbo petrol engine. It's got a good enough feature set and should be more reliable when it comes to electronics and drivetrain. But what would y'all like to buy? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this technical comparison. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the Car Stats channel, it's going to take me a very long way and I'll see y'all in the next video.